This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and welcome to part three of our video series, where with Bosnian Bill, we are building a disk detainer lockpick. Today, we are going to be starting on the tensioning nose, which is going to provide a few challenges. The first is that we can't build this out of brass. In the past, I have tried building them out of stainless steel, and that turned out to be too soft. So what I was thinking is we can make this out of tool steel. I have some downstairs that is annealed. We can do all of our machining and then harden it. How's that sound, Bill? That sounds good to me. I'm like you. I've had a lot of failures with, I mean, you think stainless steel is as tough as woodpecker lips, but uh, when you start making these thin little prongs and applying torque to them, they tend to bend and break fairly easily. So I think tool steel is the perfect choice. Yeah. One other thing we discussed that will help make this a little bit stronger, and that is the dimensions. These little prongs, we're going to make them about three and a half millimeters long. Now, I have encountered locks in the past that require a little bit more than that, but they're not very common. So I think making the, the prongs a little bit shorter will give us that extra bit of length. Of course, we're going to have that 20 millimeters of reach that we discussed before. And looking at this, this center section, we have about eight and a half millimeters of depth that this will reach into and the get, center section. And clamp it in there, yeah. So it shouldn't be that hard to make. The only thing I'm concerned about is drilling a really tiny hole all the way through a piece of tool steel. Well, we can, uh, again, I run into problems with that too. Why don't we drill roughly half of the way through one side and then flip it over and drill it from the other side? And when they match up, we'll have a good idea of how closely they're centered to each other. Makes sense. Let's head down there and give it a shot. All right, I'm with you. Okay, folks, we are back and it took a little bit longer than we were expecting because this is the second part we made. Turns out the first one, I got a little bit happy with the hand crank and made that journal that fits inside the center section a little bit too small. So once we actually got the dimensions right, this came together pretty well. This is made out of W1 tool steel. And after we machined everything out, we hardened and tempered it. Which, by the way, got Bill kicked out of my house by my wife. More than yeah, more than kicked out. I was actually chased down the block. Turns out she, she doesn't like Bill using her toaster. <laughs> too, too hard to heat treat metal. I did, I guess. It seemed like yeah. 
It's like a good thing to do. I'm surprised you let me back in here. Hmm. Well, that's why we use the back door. And I bought Keep your voice down. And I bought the new toaster. <laughs> so we, uh, we made a couple of changes to this as we were going along. All the dimensions are what we expected, but we did add some flats to that journal. And those flats are designed to be engaged by the handles that will go into the center section, hopefully hold it steady and also keep it from rotating. I think it's a good change. Yeah, I think that'll work out okay. So the next challenge would be... I think the handles. The handles, all right. Yeah. Well, let's take a day off. Let's put some thought into this one. Thought? Mm. I thought we decided we're we, just going to cut metal. Mm, let's pay somebody. Let's ask your wife to put some thought into it. Well, she's the thinker in the family. <laughs> <laughs> and mine as well. All right, we'll be back, guys. <laughs> 